For this exercise, you're going to set up with the opposite side knee bent, the foot on the table here. And then what we're going to do is activate the quad and then lift up the leg like this. In order to activate the quad, there's a few cues that can help out here. One cue that really helps out with people is thinking about this patella, the kneecap, and squeezing the quad so that it brings the patella up towards your hip. So think about pull the patella up towards the hip like this, and you can see how that patella moves backwards. So think about squeeze the quad, pull it back like this, and hold that before the lift. The other way that you can activate the quad is what we, with what we call biofeedback. So placing your fingertips right on the meat of the muscle, right to the inside of the kneecap and up just an inch. Feeling that muscle activate as you do it and just feeling that muscle activate can help create that mind body connection and create some more activation there. So squeeze that first, get that squeeze down and then you can perform the exercise. Another good way of doing it is thinking about there's a towel or some sort of uh, something behind the knee and just bringing that into the table. See how that activates the quad before you lift up like that. But just make sure if you're doing that cue that you're not pushing the heel into the table because you can see how that flexes the knee here. So you're thinking bring the back of the knee down or even thinking about bringing that heel up. Whichever cue helps activate the quad, you're gonna start out with that. So after you activate the quad, you're gonna squeeze and then lift nice and slowly and then bring it back down. At the bottom, fully relax and then squeeze again. Make sure when you come down, you're not just coming down and then just tapping and coming back. You're going to fully relax and then squeeze again. Now a common mistake if you have decreased activation through the quad is what we call an extensor lag. And I'll demonstrate here an extensor lag. It's going to look like you squeeze and as you lift up the knee bends and then you lift up with a bent leg. Now that's a pretty excessive extensor lag. It may be as minor as this. I squeeze, it starts to bend and then you lift up. It looks almost straight but it's slightly bent. So you want to make sure that you have zero extensor lag. So you're squeezing and lifting like that. 